Good afternoon, guys. It is Monday, uh, August uh, August 28th, and in this video, I'm going to review the price action for the regular trading hour session on the micro S&P 500. <clears throat> so let's get right to it. So looking at our morning session here on the 10 minute chart, we opened up with a, a pretty healthy opening range gap and we opened up at uh, 4437 spot 50. Uh, opening 10 minutes, we traded down to a low of 4434 spot 75 and we traded to a high of 4447 spot 25. Opening 10 minute candle was a spinning top candle with a, uh, you know, a, an inefficient price delivery to the buy side. Um, we traded up into a 15 minute, so this was a 15 minute um, fair value gap on the regular trading hours that you can see here. And we also had a sell set and melt by set efficiency here. So we traded into those things in the morning session. Um, morning session then took us down to into the opening range gap. Uh, let's let me just block off uh, lunch. So there you can see the morning session. And the morning session took us down into uh, just below the 50%. You can see that the 50% of the opening range gap was respected. So our opening range uh, gap got filled in by 50% by the morning session. In the lunch session, we traded back up into the rejection block and we slightly swept the highs that we had. You can see that we had some buy side liquidity um, here that price came up and challenged. So we made a high during the lunch session at uh, at 1,300 evens. At 1,300, we made a high at 4,448 uh, 4, evens, um, which I think, yeah, was three ticks higher than the high that we had made in the morning session. So we swept the buy side liquidity that the morning session made. And then, guys, during the PM session, we had more consolidation. We traded down initially in the PM session, uh, again, back about to the 50% of the opening range gap. And then we yet again ran more buy side liquidity and we formed a high at 1540 of uh, 449 halves. And then we closed near the high uh, at the very end of the regular trading hour session. So what I'm looking at guys now for coming into the electronic trading hours is I'm looking for price to come back and take out the sell side targets here as well as come back down to our new new week opening gap. So you can see where our September 1st new week opening gap is down at 4,416. I think we're gonna come and sweep this sell side liquidity. So I would at this point be looking for sell side uh, at least in the overnight session. Okay guys, this was a price action review. Uh, only three minutes I know, but my voice is a little tired. So basically uh, Monday's candle was a consolidation. It was in the big picture, it was a, a healthy size green candle. We did just form a volume uh, volume imbalance with Friday's candle, but you can see that the price action overall was pretty choppy. Um, up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, so a fairly complex day, but a day that you could make money on, um, especially if you were looking to take out the buy side liquidity. I'll be honest, guys, I, I am just tracking this. I'm tracking these sell side targets. So I am currently, I, I'll go ahead and show you. Um, I'm currently sitting in a short. I have been all day. I've actually held it for the entire day and beyond that. Um, so I am sitting short uh, and I'm looking for price to come back down and take out these sell side targets. So that's basically why I am currently sitting short. Okay, guys, in this video, we covered the price action for the regular trading hour session on the MES for Monday, August the 28th, 2023.